the watershed project is about um, acquiring conservation easements on 1,382 acres of this, you know, beautiful Pilgrim River Valley. Um, that's a, a means to the end of making sure that this land is available for public access for non-motorized recreation for the current generation and future generations. Well, I grew up on the property I am now sitting on, uh, which was homesteaded by my mother's grandfather. Cleaning out the house, I found his citizenship papers from 1875. So this property was in the early 1900s um, common cow pasture, um, which is what most of the lands around here were. And uh, since long before my lifetime, the property was always open to the public for, you know, hiking and primarily fishing, and has, has always been one of the main access sites for people to fish the Pilgrim. So um, it's a blue ribbon trout stream just a few miles from Houghton with a good steelhead run and a uh, resident brook trout population. It just holds a lot of uh, habitat for birds and, uh, and native flora. There's a lot of undisturbed un, uh, property between the roads here, between the South Superior Road and the Paradise Road that have never been, uh, never been um, touched. And there's a, so there's a lot of habitat for birds and plants and uh, with trails so that uh, people can uh, bike and walk on those trails now and, and do birding. And this area holds a lot of habitat for thrushes and warblers and uh, all the birds that migrate south in the winter and come back in the spring. Well, a conservation easement is essentially where um, an entity buys the development rights from the landowner um, and then doesn't exercise those development rights. So it, it's uh, an easement that's filed at the courthouse. It runs in perpetuity with the land and it assures that uh, the land will remain open in accordance with whatever provisions are placed in the easement. We have a lot of land that is um, in CFA commercial forest, but the uses are hunting, fishing, trapping seasonally. And it can be pulled from those uses at any time by the, by the owner. So it's a perfect opportunity for me to be part of a bigger picture and keep the thing always open to the public for hiking, fishing, uh, bird watching, mushroom gathering, and keep it wooded and undivided and undeveloped. And even somewhere, some places along the river, you can see the, uh, the bedrock. The water has eroded right down to the bedrock. It just represents uh, a long, uh, something that, a geologic feature that's been here for thousands of years. Yeah, millions of years probably. Yeah. Even this time of year when, when it's very dry, you see a lot of water in the river because it's fed by groundwater. Um, so um, it stays uh, cold, which is good for trout habitat. Um, and it's another thing that's so special about it is that it's so close to Houghton and Hancock, you know, uh, an urbanized area with a population of about 15,000 people. So I don't know if we're lazy or if we take it for granted because we're surrounded by, by woods that'll always be here, but it's not as secure as where there's state and federal land, you know, or where parks have been established. So here we are five minutes from Houghton, you know, Hancock, the biggest concentration of people around, and we have this to, you know, protect, and it can be augmented for, you know, increasing quiet recreation without damaging it. And, you know, keeping an island of green accessible here for people to enjoy quiet recreation, I think is, uh, there's, there's no argument against it.